Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing another technique for using bullet nib markers. If you haven't seen the rest of my series I have about three videos on different techniques for using bullet nib markers because I think bullet nib markers get quite a bad press and you can do quite a lot of awesome things with them so I thought I'd make a series of techniques on how to use them. So this technique I am doing today is I'm going to call it underpainting slash colour blocking and it's a little bit like the block shading video I did although not quite because I am blending but the idea is to lay down your base colours first with markers blend them a bit starting with the kind of mid to darker tones then working out lighter then back to dark which is what I'm doing here I'm also using mixed media paper for this because it means that you can blend the markers a lot easier because mixed media paper is a very absorbent surface which can be a bit problematic for markers because that does mean it does suck up the ink a little bit but with bullet nib markers it's an advantage because it makes them blend easier because brush tip markers are usually better for blending so what you do is you just lay the groundwork with markers and because it's an underpainting or a color blocking the blending doesn't have to be seamless because what you do is you go over the top of that with color pencil so I'm just blocking out the shapes here and it's actually a really good technique color blocking to help you with anatomy because I I find that anatomy is one of my biggest struggles and if you are looking at your reference image and you are looking to color block you are actually training your eyes to look at different shapes and then blocking those shapes out rather than lots of details all at once so I really found this really did help me in the anatomy and I was really really pleased with how the anatomy turned out here. So if you hadn't guessed I am drawing Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers and Avengers Endgame and I wanted to do some Avengers fan art for a while and because the new film is coming out this week I'm so excited I still haven't seen it yet so please if you've seen it don't post any spoilers because I'm super excited and I will cry if you spoil it for me. But anyway yeah. Um, I'm doing some Avengers fan art and I wanted to do character and I thought I'd draw Nebula because she is a bit of a bit of an enigma I think in the first film she's not very nice in the second film she's not very nice for a bit then she has a bit of redemption she goes through some character growth and I think in Endgame she is going to be one of the big players and she is going to turn herself around she is going to turn herself around and be one of the good guys my biggest struggle with this piece actually wasn't the anatomy it was making her look too friendly and that is one of my biggest problems in art because my style is very friendly I do a lot of children's illustration a lot of young children's illustration and young children's illustration is quite friendly and it took me a very long time to get her to look not friendly and I think even at the end she looks a lot friendlier than um, the character in the film but my excuse is that she's going to turn out good I reckon she's going to be really really good in Endgame and she is going to be one of the heroes so that is my excuse for making her look too friendly so what you do when you are color blocking is you start like I said with the mid-tones I started with the cooler blue the more true blue of her face the middle part of her face and the eyes the darker blue and I added some deep brown and I did use some black for the eyes partly because I wanted to de-friendly them and I thought if I made them black they would look not quite as friendly anymore and I am using the markers to blend out, I'm using the mid-tones to blend out, the mid-tones and the light tones and I am using all bullet nibs, no brush nibs were used in the making of this video although I might have used the chisel nib when I went to the background just because it covers the background a lot easier than the bullet nibs but you get a chisel nib with a bullet nib marker so that's fine so the markers I'm using, I have some pro markers and actually for bullet nibs, these are my least favourite bullet nib markers they were great for the pointillism technique that I did but for colouring and blending I don't like the nib I think the nib is far too hard and it doesn't allow for blending I much much prefer the Spectrum Noir markers and the markers that I had from the works and I did review these products I reviewed the markers from the works so I'll leave a card to that video if you are interested but yeah these are all bullet nibs and I am managing to blend out I did find it quite difficult to find a colour to match her more greeny blue side of her face like the bit that I'm colouring in now it was quite difficult to find that so I did have to mix a few colours and yeah I really enjoyed layering this up and the mixed media paper is now one of my favourite things I was very sceptical of mixed media paper before never really liked it never really used it but I am 
really impressed with how it works for this technique and it is the best best paper to use for this technique especially if you're using pencils over top of markers because it does have a texture so it will grip the pencils and the markers blend really nicely i just wouldn't use your most expensive markers on this paper just because it does suck out the ink quite a lot so you want to use your kind of cheaper to mid mid range because you don't want to dry out your markers that's the only thing i would say about this paper and the paper the mixed media paper is just hobbycraft own brand it's not an expensive piece of mixed media paper either so any mixed media paper really will do for this technique you don't have to spend an awful lot of money so if you are new here my name is katie welcome i make lots of art videos as you can probably tell from the art video that you are watching i do challenges speed paints like i said earlier i have a series on techniques for bullet limb markers because i believe that bullet limb markers are a really good place to start because they are cheaper and if you don't want to invest a lot of money and there are a lot of good techniques you can do so there is a link to the playlist up above and at the end of the video if you want to check that out and if you are new do feel free to subscribe subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and if you like this video you know emotionally please do leave it a like down below as that really helps me out and recently I have hit over 700 subscribers I've had a little bit of a surging growth recently and I just want to thank everybody and welcome all my new subscribers and just say welcome and thank you for watching my content liking my content commenting on my content it does really mean a lot to me and I am really enjoying growing this channel so do leave any comments down below any suggestions of videos you might like to see any experiences you have any products you think I might try and also let me know who your favorite Avengers character is because I am obsessed with the Avengers series. I love all of the films. I don't think there is one single film that I don't like. I'm not, well, I wasn't a massive fan of Thor 1 and 2, but Thor Ragnarok was amazing. But Chris Hemsworth did make Thor 1 and 2 much more bearable for me, I must admit. And I think he is probably one of my favorite characters, but I also like Black Widow. I also like Iron Man. Um, Captain America, Hulk, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, okay I like pretty much all of them but yeah let me know who your favourite character is and what your favourite Avengers film is too and I also have a little mouse character called Charlie if you've been on my channel for a while you might know him and I dressed him up as Avengers in a video a while ago so I will leave a link to that up above and down below as well just in case you want to see him in all the Avengers costumes because it's quite cute so back to talking about the artwork um once you have blocked all your colors out in markers you can then work over the top with color pencil and i am using prisma colors here and also the white polychromos pencil i do have some new polychromos pencils which i am in love with but i wanted to use the prisma colors for this artwork because there was a slightly bigger range of colors i don't have a lot of polychromos yet i only have 24 so I am using colour pencils just to smooth out some of the blending and the white and a light grey is really good for this, especially on the highlights of her face and around the back of her head and the highlights on the metal. Using the pencil over the top really does kind of define features, uh, add some details and also it does smooth out some of the blending because bullet lid markers aren't always amazing at blending, although you can blend quite nicely with bullet nib markers if you have enough mid-tones and it is possible if you'd like me to do a video on how to blend specifically blend with bullet nib markers do let me know in the comments below because i'm happy to do that for you and yeah it just kind of smooths out some of the blending like i'm doing here on the side of the face um smooths out and hides i i want to say hides some of the not bad blending but the not quite blended areas so yeah and also here the lighting changes because i switched cameras at this point forgetting that this camera has different settings so i've tried to color correct it as much as i can in the editing but i'm very sorry that it looks a little bit bright and especially when i was doing the background at the moment i'm blocking out the shades of her jacket and you can really see how the color blocking works here it does look quite a lot like block shading but you do blend in this technique it is very similar to block shading and i recommend you go and watch the block shading video as well to kind of a pair up with this because it's really all about finding the blocks of color but you are blending but yeah you can see how the block the block coloring works here but yeah, I have tried to correct the colouring in the uh, editing 
but yeah I won't be using a mix of two cameras again I will wait for one to charge up rather than rush into using this second one and yeah it doesn't really look so good when I do the background in a minute and for the background I did use the chisel tips of the markers like I said just because it covers a bigger bigger area I did a galaxy background for the background using some blues and purples and then added the pencil over the top for the shooting stars and some white Posca pen as well but yeah you can't really see that too well you'll see in a moment but I'm just finishing off her jacket at the moment and the jacket really complements her nicely because it's purples and it brings out some of the purple in her skin because I did add purple into her skin just to vary the colour and to bring out some highlights a little bit especially in the lips and on some of the shinier metal and I'm doing exactly the same as I did with the face I am adding the colour pencil over the top of the markers to define areas um, especially on her lapels this worked really well and to add in some texture as well to add in some texture onto part of her jacket that needed to be a different texture and it's nice and easy to do on mixed media paper with these colour pencils. So she's starting to take a bit more shape now and you can see that she does look a little bit less friendly but there is still quite a a bit of deep friendliness in her eyes and I think I ended up making her look more determined than fierce but that's okay Nebula is a very determined character so now I am moving on to the background I am doing a galaxy and this took quite a long time to blend I'm not gonna lie it took quite a while to blend the colors and I did end up using the chisel nibs like I said and the color pencil really did help to blur over the blends like I'm doing here like using the blue to blur out over the, the purple to kind of mix the light blue to the purple and I'm also using my light violet Prismacolor to do some shooting stars and I think I might have gone a tiny bit overboard with the shooting stars but it's fine she's in the galaxy that's where she lives so and I'm using my white Posca pen to do some stars and some more shooting stars over the top just to make it pop a little bit more and I did end up using some dark colors around her face so here is the final result up close and as you can see this is with my phone camera which is a really really good camera and you can see how it really looks rather than the brightness of the other camera. But that is all for today's video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now!